So let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on to uh, NBA. All right, NBA. NBA, I'm doing, I'm doing very well. Even though yesterday was a horrible day for me overall, still had a winning day in, uh, in the NBA. Yesterday I went 2-1. Uh, now in my official picks overall here in the NBA, 34-19, and 19, plus 13.3 units, plus 23.2% ROI. Now that is not even close to being sustainable, but I'm damn happy that I get to sit here and, and quote that record. Thank the Lord for that one. All right, in the NBA today, uh, nothing that I'm really seeing that I'm liking a ton a couple bets that I did make on the overnight line. One is uh, I did bet Portland. Now, Portland, I, I got burned. with uh, That was one of my losers. I took Portland uh, in their last game against Memphis, and that was a loser, although uh, Lillard had a, had, a, had a particularly bad shooting day. They had their chances to cover just the three-point spread, and they didn't. So I'm not totally sure that was a bad bet, but there were some people saying they liked Memphis in that game anyway. So maybe it was. Uh, Brooklyn is definitely having issues in terms of personnel, a lot of injuries, and feels like it should be a bounce-back spot for Portland. Portland leaning, uh, you know, laying eight and a half points, kind of a lot here, uh, but I will take Portland, and I think I like them a little bit more on the first half, which is four and a half or five. Uh, bookmaker has five, Bookmaker and Heritage have five, but everyone has five minus 105, and Pinnacle has minus four and a half, minus 114, and I will take the Pinnacle line, Portland minus four and a half, minus 114 on the first half. They're probably also good as a play on the full game at eight and a half. I did bet that one uh, as well. Uh, but if, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to trust Portland here and willing to uh, to, to fade uh, Brooklyn in this spot. Feels like it's a bounce back spot for Portland, and feels like um, like uh, Brooklyn is vulnerable enough to be fadeable, even uh, even as that size of an underdog. So hopefully Lillard can come out and have a big game at least in the first half, and we'll get a cash with the with the uh, Portland first half uh, first half spread minus four and a half. Minus uh, minus one fourteen again. Uh, the Nets have a bunch of injuries. We'll see if uh, I'm sure a bunch of people are going to comment on that one and, and and give their various opinions. What else is interesting today on today's card? Uh, uh, the Milwaukee Spurs game is also a very interesting game, right? The Spurs have been rolling three straight wins and covers. Milwaukee's been bad ATS recently. We talked about this in the beginning of the year. I compared Milwaukee kind of to uh, the Louisville uh, Cardinals in college football, kind of a one trick pony, right? Uh, they have the Greek freak and the supporting cast. Uh, not really up to snuff. Same deal that we saw this year with the Louisville Cardinals. Doesn't mean that Milwaukee won't get their points and covers at, at times. And I was thinking about a shot with the over on this one and also on the Milwaukee team total over. Let me uh, just uh, quickly check to see what these, uh, these lines are right now. The Milwaukee team total over, yeah, 101 plus 108. I kind of like that one. Uh, the Spurs, of course, uh, they, they, they intend to be a strong defensive team, and a lot of times they are, but... Um, but their games, since they've been playing well, have been going over. And I think that trend is, uh, is likely to continue. I did bet the over on this one. I did bet uh, on the overnight line. I got 206. And now it is, uh, yeah, still some places 206 down to a 205 and a half. Uh, most places, again, the question is just, is Milwaukee going to be able to be uh, you know, productive offensively? Uh, wow, the market is really money coming in on Houston. It, opened, it was four and a half on the overnight line. Now it's up to five or five and a half at, uh, at most places. I would still be leading over, still be leading Milwaukee on the team total over at 101 plus 108. And also uh, a lean to Detroit. Obviously, uh, you know, Detroit is, uh, is a well-rested team and Detroit has been absolutely friggin' killing it ATS uh, this year. Uh, uh, you know, Atlanta has a couple of extra rest days, so maybe they'll come in here and be a little bit, uh, a little bit stale at least in the first half. Although Detroit's uh, strength comes from their, uh, comes from their, uh, their, uh, their depth. So presumably, you'd not necessarily want to look for them to, uh, to be a better bet on the first halves than they would be on the full games. Uh, but you know, Atlanta's coming off of two nice games where they shot unusually well for them and uh, I think that that's not likely to continue uh, going forward you know they've got some injuries they're coming off a couple games where the shooting numbers were better than uh, than they than they definitely will be uh, long term this season so it feels like another good spot to uh, to take up to take Detroit even though they are laying a whole lot of points here uh, it's eight and a half on the overnight line and it's still about eight and a half although some places are already uh, up to nine and the Detroit team total over might be worth a shot 108 and a half minus 108 I was also leaning on the over on this one at about uh, 208. So those are all plays that I'm uh, that I'm thinking about. And uh, let me look at uh, what are the other games that I was thinking about uh, on this card. The Orlando Phoenix game. I'm probably going to pass on. Miami Utah game is definitely interesting. Uh, Utah has been struggling. At some point, they're going to turn it around. Is that likely to happen here? Not exactly sure. Miami is a team, of course, getting Whiteside back that I'm kind of high on. So 
you know, I would love to take Miami. The, the line is uh, is climbing up. It's now up to three and a half or four at places. It opened at three. I uh, would love to take a shot with Miami, but I'm going to hold off because Utah, you know, could easily turn it around uh, on a dime. And the Miami team total over. Uh, Utah's just been having a problem uh, defending teams recently. That's also something that's likely to change. Uh, it could easily change, uh, you know, on a dime in this game. But Miami on the team total over 98 is also tempting. Uh, so that's what I was thinking about in the uh, in the NBA card today. A whole bunch of leans that I got. The only one I'm giving uh, officially so far is Portland on the first half, minus four and a half. That's definitely my favorite play out of the card. And let's get to some comments. I'm sure there'll be a lot of comments here that are very well informed uh, when it comes to uh, these NBA betting lines. Again, we are here at sportsbookreview.com. Check the uh, description box underneath this video for links to all of the uh, SBR sites and social media sites, uh, all that very, very, very useful, a ton of useful stuff at SBR. Uh, they're actually also, uh, one thing that I use that we, we don't really talk about much are, is the tools. There's a Kelly calculator, a uh, round robin parlay calculator, uh, arbitrage calculator, all these tools uh, you can find. They're a little bit hard to find. You have to go to SBR Picks, I think, and then find the tools. Click on the tools tab, and you'll see a whole bunch of useful tools uh, uh, that, uh, that you might not be aware of. Again, they have all sorts of parlay calculators, a Kelly calculator, which is huge. You can figure out what your edges would be based on various winning percentages and everything. And they have, uh, they have an arbitrage calculator in case you want to... Uh, to uh, do an arbitrage bet there. All right, so let's see. Other comments here. Vice versa says Spurs for the win. Yeah, Spurs is awesome. Spurs is awesome. Let's see. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of positive comments. Love it. Thank you so much. Ryan Knight saying, Pete, love me some Clippers. Clippers money line. All right, I, again, that did not have an overnight line, so I did not have a chance to uh, look at that. I'm crunching everything here. I'm crunching college basketball, MMA, College football, NFL. So I just uh, I just don't do the uh, the the uh, NBA and NHL games that don't have overnight lines uh, for these uh, morning shows. But all right, so let's see. Uh, SG Sharika Cruz says, "Who else got fucked by OKC yesterday?" Listen, I talked about it in the show with Jim. I actually wound up betting Denver uh, yesterday. It was uh, you know OKC obviously has the manpower to be much better than they than they are, and and at some point they're going to turn it around probably, <laughs> right? Uh, but you know, that is a team that is not gelling right now. They're looking slow. They're out of sorts. And uh, and that is not, you know, going into Denver, playing in that spot. You know, the, 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 to some, I can understand why some people thought that that line looked suspiciously low. I think it was low for the Rees for a reason. Uh, you know, we saw that with Houston earlier on in the year. Things just weren't gelling. And uh, you should assume that things aren't going to be gelling until we see on-court indications that they are. And uh, OKC, you know, if they turn it around on a dime, I'll turn my opinions on them around on a dime. But as of right now, they're definitely uh, a, a team that I'm looking to fade in general and looking to be uh, overvalued in general. We'll see what their, uh, their lines are next week. Can't wait to look at them to see what they are. But definitely they're a team that is, uh, that is for real, not, not for real. They're definitely not for real in a real way right now. They're having issues, uh, and, and you do see that all over the place in the NBA. Uh, that you know, NBA, I mean, the Spurs are a perfect example of that on the other side. The Spurs, no matter who's in their lineup, uh, one way or another, Popovich just seems to, uh, to, to get the best out of, out of what he's got, and that's because in the NBA, chemistry is a lot more important than, uh, than individual star power, and definitely that's the case in the regular season. In the playoffs, that's not so much the case, but in the regular season, that is absolutely the case. Brooke Jordan saying, I like Brooklyn plus nine Pete okay okay uh let me know why certainly a uh, Brooklyn I bet on Brooklyn uh in against uh, against uh against Phoenix a few days ago so certainly uh you know Brooklyn you know is a team that I'm not afraid to bet on when they're a big underdog or in spots it's just that it feels like a bounce back spot for Portland and Brooklyn has personnel issues and some injuries so I'm taking Portland here minus four and a half but uh but 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 we will see all right let's see other NBA comments other NBA comments. Other NBA comments. Let's see. Let's see. A lot, a, lot, a lot of people wondering if Jimmy is really on vacation or if he's just on vacation. No, he's really on vacation. Unless, unless, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's really on vacation. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Christopher S says, "Free Jimmy. He's just friggin' on vacation. He's not on vacation." All right. Jesus. All right, let's see. Brooke Jordan says Spurs win today. Uh, yeah, Delta 7575 says Bucks over 206. I bet that one. That's definitely a lean for me as well. Uh, you know, the Spurs can clamp down defensively at any time. The Bucks can disappear offensively at any time as well. But I definitely did take a shot with the uh, 
with the over. Uh, let's see, let's see. Other uh, other questions here, other questions and comments. Uh, Jansen Bonzone says, Pistons will cover over Atlanta at home. That's the way I'm leaning, and I did bet that one small myself. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw that one on there uh, as an official pick. That's definitely a lean, and as I've been saying all NBA season long, my leans have been doing well, and uh, I've been trying to make a concerted effort to give more of my leans as official picks, and I have been doing that, and it's paid off. My official picks uh, have been uh, better at a pretty uh, decent uh, uh, overall sample size uh, because I've been trying to force myself to uh, to to give uh, to give to make to make more of my leans official picks. Let's see, let's see. All right, so all right, uh, Andrew G uh, saying Pete Temple. I'll say we will get to the college football uh, games in a second. Uh, but yes, uh, I am I am agreeing with you on that one. Leaning leaning Temple for sure. All right, so let's see. Just scanning the comments here, looking for insightful uh, information and opinions on the NBA uh, lines because uh, again, there's interesting handicapping situations here and a lot of uh, a lot of leans that I have. Not sure how how much I'm liking I'm liking my leans as much as uh, as much as I was in other days. All right, let's see. Scanning the scanning the comments. Scanning the comments. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> wow. There's 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 definitely some uh, some some jawing back and forth, jawing back and forth in the comment section, which is a uh, which is pretty funny. But I'm not going to read it out loud. People uh, people uh, threatening people and people pseudo threatening. I love I fucking love threatening people online. Wanma, you ever threaten people online? Well, I've been threatened, but no, no, You've been no, threatened. Never, never threat people. Online. You've been threatened <laughs> no, yeah. by me. Did I ever threaten you online? <laughs> no, 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 by you, man. I <laughs> love threatening people online. I'm a keep. I'm a freaking keyboard warrior. I love that shit. I used to threaten people in the SBR forum all the time when I used to uh, post there regularly. Now I don't have enough time to uh, post there regularly because I'm focusing so much on my handicapping, which has paid dividends. I'm up in every single sport this year. All right, so. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So I got to make some final decisions here on, 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 on these leans. Uh, going over the card again. Portland, first half minus four and a half is an official pick. Some people saying that they like Brooklyn plus nine. I can understand why. Uh, but I'm going to take Portland here on the first half minus four and a half. Leans are definitely Detroit minus eight and a half. That's a lean. Milwaukee, San Antonio uh, over 206. And the uh, and the team, Milwaukee team total over 101 plus 108. Those are uh, those are definitely leans there. So that's three leans. Uh, Miami, Utah. I guess that doesn't even qualify as a lean. Uh, Utah's going to clamp down defensively at some point. I'm just liking Miami in general. Now nah, you know what it is. A lean's a lean. Miami plus four minus 113. I'm not going to make that one a pick because that's a borderline lean. But that definitely counts as a lean if I'm thinking about it. It's a lean. Uh, so yeah, I guess I got four leans here. Detroit lean. Miami, lean. Spurs, Milwaukee, over, lean. And the Milwaukee team total over, lean. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just uh, give most of them. All right, you know what? I'll throw on Detroit. I'll throw it on there. Minus 8.5, minus 110 against Atlanta. I think, it's a, I think it's a letdown spot for Atlanta. And if they wilt, they might wilt badly. I'm going to throw that one. I'll make that one an official pick. Detroit, minus 8.5, minus 110. I did bet that one on the overnight line. That's not a lean that, I, that I'm thinking about but didn't bet. I did bet it, and I will throw that one on there. I'll make that one an official pick. Milwaukee, San Antonio total. See, the problem is that San Antonio can be so strong defensively, and Milwaukee can disappear offensively. That's a lean, but I'll hold off on it for now. I'll hold off on that one for now. All right, so I'm just going to have two picks on today's card. Portland, first half, minus 4.5, and minus 114, and Detroit, minus 8.5 over Atlanta. Leans are Milwaukee, San Antonio, over 2.5, minus 105, and the uh, Milwaukee team total over 108. And Miami, plus 4, is also a lean for me. And, uh, and that's about it for the NBA guard. Let's just uh, yeah, be at a ball saying Hawks stink. They certainly do. They certainly do. And, and that's why I think it's a, it's, it's a good thing to bet against them here that they had such a strong shooting uh, couple of games uh, shooting recently. Those are uh, illusory. Arthur Funches says, I like Boston at the half. Yeah, I did not uh, have a chance to look at that one because, uh, because there was no, uh, that was a game that did not have a, that did not have an overnight line. All right, so... Let's see. Just, just, just reviewing some, some, some. Any, any, any uh, last minute comments here on the, uh, on the uh, NBA card, and then we'll move on, and then we will move on. Okay. All right. Yeah, Sean Williams saying magic first quarter, Pete. Uh, 
You know, the magic on the on, on the money line is also a lean, I guess, at just minus 160. Uh, you know, Phoenix is obviously a team that uh, that is kind of in disarray, and the magic playing a lot better with uh, with that point guard back. So uh, I guess the magic would count as a uh, as a lean uh, as a lean as well. Phoenix has lost four in a row straight up, and ATS. Orlando rolled the Knicks last game, and no coincidence that uh, that they got Peyton back. Uh, so yeah. I would be I would be leaning Orlando as well, and maybe even the Orlando uh, team total over. Let me find uh, what that one would be. Orlando, yeah, one fourteen and a half plus one oh eight. Yeah, feels like Phoenix is back into fade mode, and uh, Orlando getting a boost back from uh, Peyton. So yeah, I would uh, I'd be leaning Orlando. Maybe not at minus three and a half, but at the money line at minus one fifty, minus one sixty or so. Okay, yeah, Sean Williams. I would definitely agree with that general opinion. Not going to make it a. Uh, not going to make it an official pick, but uh, I would definitely uh, agree with that one. Agree with that one. All right. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos. So please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left. Uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.